Okay, I've decided to do a little bit more than just the, the like, true end letter stuff because this seems funny. I'm gonna agree. No, you're sick of this overlord holding you and your friends back. You agree that it's time for a change of management. If, we, if your friends suggest maybe you should be the new overlord. I like the sound of that. You announce your first act of rebellion is to take that day off like you wanted. Your friends aren't very impressed. You assure them that you'll talk more about the assassination thing when you get back, which satisfies them. <laughs> you sneak out of the castle to have some fun. Change atmosphere excites you. Yahoo! I'm gonna be hungry. I don't remember if there's another ending that I can get off of this that I need to get. Probably is, but we're gonna. We're hungry. Maidens aren't the best meal, but you figure you should live up to your demon name and strike back against the humans. You start devouring the maiden without so much as a second thought and feel quite proud of that. Other humans would surely praise you with curses if they were around to be seen. I mean, to see. Aw oh, man, if only someone could have been watching. Time to find an audience for your evil deeds. You wander into the nearby village. Oh, this idiot. Oh, this sweet dumb idiot is about to die. The people are screaming and running away, throwing rocks at you and whatnot. I think that's pretty rude of them. You haven't even done anything yet. Oh. My. God. Wait a minute. <laughs> um. This is so funny. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna see it again. I mean, let's put on a show, baby. You attack the nearest human. He's old and weak, and his bones crunch delightfully. <gasps> yeah, the elder! Fuck that guy! Your audience screams, grow louder. Applause! You think, hey, this is actually pretty fun. I should have taken revenge like this a lot sooner. As you continue your bloodthirsty dance, striking the villagers down, you fail to notice a sword-wielding hero running towards you. That's weird. I never got that ending in the hero perspective, but okay. He takes you out in one swift blow. You're just a demon underling, after all. As you die, you think, that was totally worth it. The curtain closes. Wow, we're a performer. Okay, load. Change your mind and leave. You figure if people are this upset at just the sight of you, they won't fully appreciate any terrible acts you'd commit. Also, they might fight back, and that probably wouldn't end well. You're just one little underling after all. This little day out has been adequately refreshing. You return to the castle, thinking you'll take a nap. Aw oh, man, this is still happening. They're very eager to talk to you about the whole kill the overlord plan. Wait, what was that red button that came- or there was something that came up over there that was weird. You admit that you hadn't given it as much thought- uh, much thought, and only just now remembered that it was even a thing? Your friends question your loyalty. Aha. Um. I feel like I've already gotten all the endings that branch off from here. Oh, what? Just kidding. This is different. You sneak into the Overlord's room. She's taking a nap, like usual. Damn, this is almost too easy. You silently approach your master. She looks so peaceful. Oh. <laughs> But chicken out is- oh my god. Okay, hold on. Dear lord. Um. I'm gonna chicken out. You don't want to kill her. You can't go through with it. You turn to leave the room, but you find your friends blocking the exit. In a panicked whisper, you, you ask them to let you out. This seems to have been their way of testing your loyalty. You tell them this is pretty fucked up and ask to be elect let out again. Overlord stirs in her bed while your head is turned. The demons shut the door. You scramble into the Overlord's closet to hide before she wakes up and sees you. There's nothing you could possibly say to explain this and survive. <laughs> You're trembling. You can't believe those assholes would bully you like this. You feel like crying. Light flickers at your feet. Doesn't take you long to realize they've set the room on fire. 
Oh no, you hear the overlord trying to get the door open to no avail. You're both trapped. Too afraid to move, you resign yourself to your fate. <laughs> Wait, when I got that ending book four, was the underling just sitting in the closet? <laughs> That's so sad. Oh man. This is tragic. That's so, so sad. Time to die! You figure the cleanest way to do this would be to dig your claws into her throat. But that's the cleanest way, dear lord. So I guess we're doing that. She wakes, but not in time to stop you. You watch as she chokes on her blood, cursing you before finally expiring. God damn, that felt terrible. You remind yourself that it was either her or you. And you weren't about to let yourself get killed by anyone. You leave the room to find your friends waiting just outside. They look pleased. Only now do you realize they must have planned to use you like this from the beginning. You're the new ruler of this castle, though. Your subjects bow before you. You live in fear that they'll one day betray you, as you have betrayed your overlord. Whoops. <laughs> hmm. Okie dokie. What else are we missing here? Two more. Gotta be polite. Wait. Granted the day off. But disloyal, diplomatic, possessive. Oh. Okay. Polite, diplomatic. Oh shit! I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Diplomatic. Possessive. Disloyal. That's me. Okay. So this should be fine. Boy, I sure hope so. But yeah, I guess. You sneak up to the Overlord's room, but there's a couple of humans in there. Watch the scene unfold. Oh god, you aren't sure why, but the Overlord suddenly cuts down the hero. She approaches the maiden you brought to her earlier. With the Overlord distracted, you figure this is as good a chance as any. You launch a sneak attack, getting her right in the back. She flinches, giving you enough advantage to take her down. You rip the Overlord apart until she stops moving. That was messier than you would have liked. The maiden mutters something from the corner. Thank you for... for saving me? Uh... I mean, it wasn't your intention, but it sounds like you did something really heroic. You tell the maiden to go home. This place is dangerous. She follows your advice and leaves the castle. Your castle? <laughs> You're the new overlord. <laughs> Whoops. That's pretty funny. Oh my god, we're almost there. <gasps> Do I just have to- this, I just have to get the true end. Okay, so I have to get the day off. I have to be a maiden. I have to be disloyal. She has to be antisocial and merciful. Obedient, trusting. Antisocial and merciful. Uh, antisocial, merciful, obedient, trusting. Uh, was that all of them? Boy, I sure hope so. Wait, but it did look like there was a third one on there. For her. So maybe... Uh, maybe she also gotta be a... Did that just say, do I have a favorite ending? Do I have a favorite ending? Or is it still too early to decide? Motherfucker, we're not talking about this. Be a martyr, I don't care. This is probably gonna be fine. I don't remember. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Be a good person. I just have to get to the true end. I know how to get there. Wait. Uh-oh. <laughs> you and your friends turned to notice the maiden from earlier has overheard your entire discussion. No, yeah, this is how we get to the true end. It'd be bad for you if the overlord found out about this. Oh. My. God. Wait. Wait. What? Wait. Huh? Wait. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, these are not the options I expected. Wait, what the fuck? 
toss her in the dungeon? Oh, you and your friend seize the maiden and bring her to the dungeon under the castle. It's empty, save for the decorative skulls. They're only there to make it feel more spooky. The maiden is very upset. You leave her in the cell to continue scheming with your friends. But now a hero has arrived at the front gates. He's asking about a maiden. Perhaps the very one you just locked up? The gatekeeper, who must have seen everything, tells the hero exactly what happened. Oh. Uh-oh. What an idiot, you think. Why give the hero an excuse to start slaughtering us? The hero yells, face, prepare to face justice, and other such cliche hero lines before driving a sword into the gate. Damn it! No, wait! You weren't supposed to kill anyone! Wait, did I make him dutiful? Did I do this? Ha, oh, fuck. You're small compared to a lot of your friends, so you're able to slip away without getting cut up by that sword. You get to thinking, if this hero took down the overlord for you, everything might actually work out in your favor. Wait for things to die down outside before poking your head out. You spot the overlord and the hero locked in battle. They've worn each other down, making this very easy for you. Once an opening presents itself, you hit the back of the hero's head, knocking him out. What are you doing? Couldn't you tell this was a duel? Uh, you don't respond. You have to carry out the assassination. Oh god. You tackle her and rip her to shreds with your claws until she stops moving. You finish off the hero next. You can't let him revive and come after you later. Kind of a cheap victory, but it doesn't make any difference. Anyone who managed to survive comes crawling out of their hiding places. And now I'm a ruler again. But they're totally gonna betray me. Wait a fucking minute. Okay, hold on. Did I do this wrong? All I had to do was get to the true end. Okay, don't do that. The whole... The whole way to get there is to not do that. Got it. This just doesn't sound like... <laughs> this is just the way it has to be, you declare. For jumping her and clawing her guts out. Oh. Are you... Sh I don't think this is the true end. I don't... Wait a minute. Turns out you're already an expert at ending lives. Wow, your friends call you a show-off. Hey. You go back to, into the castle to wash off all the icky human blood. As you're finishing up, you hear the sounds of battle outside. A hero has come. Seeing the dead maiden must have made him pretty angry. Gets to thinking. God fucking damn it. Son of a bitch. What is wrong with you? Why are you like this? You're not supposed to kill people. Why are you doing this? What happened? Trusting, obedient, antisocial. Don't be a martyr, maybe. I don't fucking know, dude. Um, what? What am I missing here? What am I doing wrong? I get the day off. And then I bring you to the castle. And then I have to be disloyal because otherwise I die. And you're gonna be antisocial, and you're gonna be good about it, and you're gonna be trusting, and then profit. God, fuck. I don't understand. I've gotten there before. How am I not getting there now? It's really confusing. Trusting and diplomatic and antisocial, and but you, yeah. What the hell? What the fuck? God. But, mm. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hear her out. Fine. I have to... Why... Why are these my options? Why are you like this? Wait a minute. This wouldn't happen... If she wasn't antisocial. Wait a minute. Have I been led astray by the ending thingy? Cause... Cause otherwise you just die. I'm too good at killing. I'm a little monster. And I'm fucking rad. Okay. Everybody stop. Stop. Stop being the way you are. <laughs> Hear her out. Okay. <gasps> to your surprise, the Overlord spares you. Maybe she'd rather see you suffer instead. 
Looking around, you're, you've just gone from one dead end to another. The maiden is crying. The hero is silent. You'll all burn together. We did it. Hallelujah. I don't know why it the map led me astray. I got another ladder. Oh, I got number three this time. Which means I should probably wait to get the other one first. Dang it. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. There's there's quite a few on this path. Oh my god, there's so many on this path. Okay, so meet the overlord. She gotta be antisocial, apparently. No wait, no she doesn't. Stays. You gotta be diplomatic. Okay, you gotta be possessive. And this little shit has to be... Wait, this little shit shouldn't be disloyal for a hot second. Diplomatic possessive. That's it. That's all we want. Everybody else shut the heck up. Did... No. Possessive. Okay. Go. Go! Introduce. The overlord objects to the hero's suggestion. I don't know what he's suggesting, but... You tell her that you plan on returning soon, but she isn't having it. You feel nervous, but Hero puts on a brave face for you. If you won't let her go, maybe demons are evil after all, and if you are, I'll be forced to vanquish you. You leave me no choice. Overlord suddenly jumps to Hero. She stares into him with her claws. You want to cry out. The scream catches in your throat. You watch because you can't look away. Has she really been lying to you all along? You wonder. Is this your punishment for questioning the divine plan? The overlord approaches you now. You back yourself into a corner. Her expression is complicated. Being captured by the overlord in a horrible way like this was your destiny after all. She vows to keep you safe, very safe from now on. You're afraid to find out what that means, but there's no one left to save you. You belong to the overlord now. Whoops. Reset. You be disloyal. Do the same thing. Do it again. Introduce yourself. The overlord stops, or rather someone has stopped her. Whatever held back your scream before doesn't stop you this time. The overlord is being ripped to shreds by one of her demon underlings. You think you recognize them, but it's hard to tell with all the blood. Everyone stopped moving now. The room is silent, save for the underlings' heavy breathing. You thank them for what they've done, even though it was really awful. But you feel like you've been rescued from a terrible fate. They look at you confused for a moment, but then puff out their chest. Uh, you should probably go home. This place is dangerous. You follow their advice and make your way out of the castle. Decide never to leave your home again for the rest of your life. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Great. Great. We're just fucking getting through this. You gotta be disloyal. You not possessive anymore. Um. Oh, right. Do I want to do that immediately? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if I get the true end before the other ends. Right? Um, so I just gotta get rid of possessive. Really? That's, that's really all I gotta do at the moment. Hello! Near the castle's entrance, you spy a group of suspicious demons congregating. They're talking about assassinating the overlord. You have to warn her. The hero shakes his head. He says that if this is the true nature of demons, the world is better off with less of them. This isn't right, you think? What kind of hero passes up the chance to save a life? What a stupid asshole. Demons have taken notice of you. It's now or never. You take off into the castle and the unreliable hero, fo <laughs> unreliable hero follows shortly after. You burst into the overlord's room, all your words spilling out at once. You should probably slow down, but there's no time. The overlord seems to have followed your frantic explanation, but clearly doesn't understand the urgency of the situation. The underling you recognize from before barges in, calling you a liar. You're surprised they were part of this evil plot. They seem so nice. The other demons come in right after them, saying the whole thing was the first underling's idea. Everyone's shouting at each other now, and it's really stressing you out. You're relieved when the overlord demands silence. Wait, is that why? No, she thought it was annoying. <laughs> 
she threatens them with violence, and you think she's very overlord-like in this moment. The group of demons hiss to each other before shutting the door, leaving the little one behind. You watch as it pounds on the door in distress. Have they locked you all in? You have a bad feeling about this. Thinking that it must have jinxed it, because now the room is in flames. If only you had ignored those demons before. You and the hero wouldn't have stumbled in this situation. If you had just pretended not to hear them, if you had left as you were told, only the overlord would have been killed. But you couldn't have done that. That that path isn't an option for you. You think that no matter what, you always strive for the path where everyone survives? It must exist. It simply has to. The overlord seizes her underling. They beg for life. You pray. You don't know what else to do, so you just you're just praying. The overlord's claws pierce the underling's chest. They scream a pretty awful scream. She digs and twists her claws into the poor thing while you continue to pray. There's no saving any of you now. You, the overlord, and the hero, and well, and the underling's corpse are all consumed by flames. Wow, we're so devout. Gross. Be merciful. Go forward. Be free. Hello, I am here. The under overlord spares the underling. You feel relieved, but does it make any difference? Will you all burn together? Interesting. Now it makes me feel like Maiden's True End should have been the last one that I did. <gasps> Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. It it was. I was right. Okay, keep collecting bad ends because I want all these letters. But now I have to remember diplomatic polite disloyal. <sighs> Hold on. Hold on. I have to take a note because otherwise I'm gonna forget. Where's my little scratch pad? Pencil. I don't want a pencil, I want a pen. Diplomatic. Polite. It doesn't really matter though because I have to play as her. Make a note. Star. Great. Wonderful. Disloyal. And merciful. Okay. Great. Wonderful. I'm gonna remember that, and I'm gonna get all the endings now. It's just that easy. I have to get all the rest of the endings. <sighs> okay. Mr. Overlord stays a while. Dutiful. Heroic. But not a martyr. Dutiful. Heroic. Not a martyr. I would never. Hello, it's me. Protect. Wait, not a martyr. Do nothing. Hero's blade pierces the overlord and she lets out a horrible scream. You flinch. The overlord is slain. The hero smiles. Gross. Holds his hand out to you, saying it's time to go home. His glove is drenched in blood. Hesitantly, you take his nasty, nasty blood hand. Hero guides you through the castle, past the corpses of his enemies. You try to keep your eyes at your feet. There's blood everywhere. You shut your eyes, but even then you can't escape the smell. All of this was because of you, wasn't it? You exit the castle and the hero leads you back to the village. Everyone celebrates the hero's great triumph over the demons. You feel sick, but you take part in the festivities regardless. Aw, oh, man. How many more endings we got for you, broski? Two. Okay. So. So we gotta. Oh, Lloyd. Gotta be antisocial. Gotta be obedient. And trusting. Returns to see the Overlord alone. Interesting. Oh, okay. So then, disloyal. Okay. Trusting. Anti so. Got it. Anti social. D 
to be trusting. Stop all that other shit. Okay, I think. Oh fuck, I don't know, man. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to shit. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Hey, can I check the ending guide thingy from here? No? Okay. That's unfortunate. Um. N um. Okay. Probably. I ha right? Because he has to be trusting. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Don't you know that the Overlord's castle is like right there? Explain everything that happened. He's very surprised that demons don't, be, don't seem to be as malicious as you were raised to believe. Two of you returned to the village, hoping to communicate this to everyone. They had all been so worried, and are very glad that the hero brought you back. You quickly set the record straight. You weren't rescued, because there was nothing to be rescued from in the first place. The villagers seem confused and look to the hero for an explanation. He tells them he only ran into you on his way to the castle, and that this isn't really his story to tell. You explain to them how you met the Overlord and that he's, she's not actually interested in capturing maidens or any other mean things like that. Villagers look again to the hero for confirmation. You feel pretty fucking miffed that they seem to prefer his word over yours, but guess we're not saying anything about it. I hit the wrong button because I got angry and <laughs> my finger twitched. <laughs> the hero proclaims that he believes your story, but volunteers to go talk to the demons himself, just to make absolutely sure. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers. You hear words like trickery and demon sympathizer being thrown around, which makes you frown. You're pretty shocked that everyone's this hesitant to believe you. Like, what the fuck? Does the hero even trust you? You aren't sure anymore. The old man, un old man, implores the, the one old man that lives in this stupid goddamn town, implores the hero to go speak with the overlord immediately. He says you should be held prisoner and considered dangerous in until the hero returns. Much to your disbelief, the crowd agrees with him. Because of course, <laughs> if you were conspiring with the demons, they can't afford to let their guard down. The whole village would be slaughtered by quote-unquote monsters. The hero isn't saying anything. He'll be tied up and tossed into a cell at this rate. If you're going to be held captive by anyone, it's going to be the Overlord. Fuck this, not your fellow countrymen. <laughs> That's so funny. Um. Okay, I can save over this one. Wait. Oh well, too late. Um. Leave on my own? Have I done this one? You can prove yourself without anyone's help. You make a run for the Overlord's castle, leaving the hero behind. A suspicious group of demons stands just outside the entrance. Talking about assassinating or assassinating our Overlord! <laughs> they immediately notice you overheard them. The underling you recognize from before is the first to do something about it. This is just the way it has to be! They suddenly attack you. In that moment, you regret having ever trusted the demons. You die instantly. Okay. I forgot that that is the specific... The scenario that I was trying to get back to. <gasps> I'm a puppet master. What? What? I'm way past the halfway point. So I don't know what that was for. But okay. Wait a minute. I wanna load. What happens if I grab the hero? You boldly announce that you'll accompany the hero to prove yourself. You'd rather risk what's out there instead of staying in a village that doesn't trust you. No one seems to know how to react. You grab the hero by the wrist and take off before anyone stops you. Oh. It's the same thing. Oh. Oh, that's another way to get to the, the ending ending. Okay. Unnecessary, but okay. Uh, now I have to do all of this all over again. Hello. I am here. Away. Goodbye. Run. Wait. No, you stupid idiot. <gasps> oh my god, I can... Nice. We love that. We love to see it. You love some good visual novel functionality. They immediately notice you overheard them and decide to lock you in the dungeon before you can cause any trouble. You cry out, but the demons ignore your protests. 
Can't believe you escaped possibly being thrown in a cell back in your village only to be tossed in this awful place. But we did literally say that we would rather be captured by the overlord. So what is this blue thing on your butt? Interesting. This is terrible. Who's going to keep those demons from harming the overlord? He hopes she can fend for herself. You sure can't. You hear the sounds of battle echoing through the halls outside. Did the hero follow you? If he's out there, your cries don't reach him. After a while, the violence seems to die down. It's impossible to tell what's happened. You continue to wait, but no one comes for you. Unable to escape, you rot in that cell. God damn! Book. <gasps> we got another letter! Oh my god, we're like almost there! And we unlocked all of the different thingies! I want to be resolute. I don't care what anything else is. I want to be resolute. Okay, so now... What? Everything you've done has only hurt them. Hey, shut your fucking dirty little mouth. Okay, tyrant. Hungy. Dutiful. You got it. Dutiful. Hungy. Tyrant. That doesn't matter, because I'm playing... I'm playing me. Tyrant. Get back to work. You give them a lecture about responsibility and unquestioning obedience. Your servants ought to do what they're told, whether they like it or not. They look really unhappy with you, but you're sure they'll thank you for this later. Venturing too far from the castle tends to spell death. You dismiss the underling and lie down in your nice and comfy overlord bed. All that lecturing made you want to take a nap. Fall asleep pretty quick. Just another one of your amazing talents is the overlord. You wake to a huge commotion outside. Hero has shown up and started totally murdering all your soldiers. What the hell, guy? You rush out into the battlefield to confront this jerkwad. You curse at him and very rudely inquire his reasons for doing all this. The hero yells at you, demanding you return the maiden you are holding captive. You don't know what the hell he's talking about, but you can't forgive his actions. You do battle with the hero, but he's grown strong from cutting down your army. You're unable to defeat him. With decisive swings, he stabs and cuts you to pieces. You fall. You've failed your subjects. You spit curses weakly. You wish you'd been stronger. Maybe you were never suited to be overlord in the first place. The truth was, you were never that much more powerful than the demons who served you. It was the title, the control that gave you strength. These are your thoughts as you're swallowed by darkness. Whoops. Whoops, I say like that wasn't my intention. <laughs> okay, so you gotta be heroic. It don't matter if you're dutiful or diplomatic, but you gotta be heroic. Don't be a mark, okay. Heroic. Great. Do it again. Get back to work. Wait a minute. <laughs> Not again. Fuck. Um. Do it again. <laughs> Have the day off, I guess. Wait a minute. Okay, wait, so does it matter? Now I'm confused. Hey. Hey. Listen. This is supposed to work. Is this your fault? Is this your fault? Hey. What's up with that? Don't be hungry. You... Uh... You... Uh... That shouldn't matter. Go back. B. Forward. B. E. Aggressive. Oh, shit. Thought you told that underling- Oh, and your ling to do their job, not drag strangers into your room. Looks like they took an unauthorized break away from the castle. Whoa, my cursor went crazy. Chris is being annoying. You have to clean it out every now and then. There's too much cat here in this house. You scold them, but ultimately you're a little interested in this guest, so you let them off easy. That underling's not so bad. 
a maiden from the nearby human village. She says her role is to be captured by you. I've done this already. Uh, stay. You feel a sudden sharp pain through your back. <gasps> what in the fuck led to this? Hold on. Nope, this isn't. Where's my log? That's what I want. The hero killed everyone. I understand. Right, 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 right. And then she runs out of the room to look at everything. You look down and see a blade protruding from your chest. Oh, that was careless of you. So this is how you die. Stabbed in the back by some cowardly hero. What a joke. You're supposed to be the ruthless one. That's right. Humans can't be trusted. Not if this is what they're capable of. Should have remembered that before letting one in. He watches the hero takes the maiden's hand, leading her through the sea of corpses he'd left in his wake. Captured by a demon. At least she got what she came here for. <laughs> you join your army in eternal slumber. Okay. Now, you be a martyr. Right? Right? I think. Get, get back to... Where? Take the day off. Stay. Man, shot something behind you. And you turn just in time to see her throw herself between you and the hero's blade. It pierces her chest and she falls to the floor lifeless. As the pool of blood beneath her grows, so does your rage. This hero has taken everyone from you now. You lose control. And the hero is obliterated. But your hatred for the humans has not yet been sated. Oh shit. You go on to destroy them all? And become ruler of the entire world? God damn. Baby girl got shit done. <laughs> Fuck. That's... Honestly... That's inspiring. <laughs> I hope to be that motivated someday. 